today I'm coming to you from beautiful St. George's Cathedral, Kingston, where we had a Geist Music back towards the end of August. So it's Thanksgiving weekend in Canada, as Canadians know, but for those of you who don't live in Canada or aren't Canadian, you may think of Thanksgiving being at another time of year. I guess in the UK it's around this time, but my friends in the States celebrate it much closer to Christmas. And as is the case with October in this part of Canada, it's difficult to know exactly what the temperature is going to be. And so that's why I'm wearing this coat. Although outside, it's actually quite warm. But the previous few days, it's been cold. And so we're not at the heating stage uh, of the church year. We're still in the, you know, kind of hoping summer hangs on stage of the church year. So heat tends not to be on. So the building is still the temperature that it was maybe three days ago, which was considerably colder. So that has resulted in one or two interesting sounds from the organ, but it's still going to be fun to play here today and tomorrow, I'm happy to say. So churches in Canada in the Anglican Communion are wrestling with this whole how to reopen thing, how many people to fit in the building, who's allowed to sing, who's not allowed to sing, and so forth. But amongst the many things that we do have to be thankful for is the fact that we can actually worship in our churches again, at least to some configuration, and we can have some kind of live music in our churches again, which is a wonderful thing. So there are a lot of challenges in this time, as everyone knows, but there are things to be thankful for most profoundly. So I'm thankful to be here and to be sharing with you. Today's setting of Now Thank We All Our God, there was a different one yesterday by Bach. This one is by another German, Siegfried Karg Ellert, who was a wonderful virtuoso and wrote a good deal of organ music towards the end of the 19th century and the beginning of the 20th. And this is by far his most famous piece, which he calls March Triumphal. And the legend is, I don't know if anybody can actually verify this, but the legend is about this piece, that it was composed in 1911 uh, and then revised a little bit in 1914 or 15 um, to celebrate the entry of Kaiser Wilhelm II into St. Paul's Cathedral, having conquered Britain. So had that occasion occurred, this would have been a really cool piece to have been playing on the organ in that magnificent space. But it didn't happen that way, as we know. But it's still a wonderful space. When I was a boy singing in this choir, um, as you can see the dome up here, um, this building was patterned after a Wren church as as uh, St. Paul's London is, of course, a Christopher Wren's most famous church, and it has a huge dome. And I remember the first time I visited St. Paul's, uh, to, to that point, St. George's had been the biggest building I'd ever been in, but then when I went into St. Paul's and I realized that St. George's, for all of its magnificence, could probably fit into a small corner of St. Paul's. But it has a lot of things in common, these beautiful co uh, columns uh, with Corinthian tops and the beautiful dome. So my friend Brad is going to pan the phone around this place while I'm playing the car gallery. Happy Thanksgiving to everybody. I hope you enjoy it and enjoy a wonderful weekend uh, doing whatever it is you're going to be doing to give thanks. Thanks for watching Guy's Music.